Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to manage flows and tables in bars or restaurant in order 14 point of sale. So this is a community edition and here we have a point of sale when you install it from app store, Odoo app store. So when you open it, you can see the shops and bars created. Okay. Okay. So this option is only available for our bar or restaurant. So you can see it is closed. The session is closed. So you can just go to settings and make some modifications. So you have to make sure that the session is closed. Then only we can make that is modification to the configuration of this point of sale. Okay. So here we can see an option that is already enabled. That is flows and tables. So we can design that is customize flows and tables and assign orders to tables and it also helps in tracking the orders and ensuring they are accurately placed and delivered to the right person okay so uh, we can also uh, manage orders that is if you want to reprint received refund or exchange orders you can enable this option okay and you can also enable the required option uh, for your point of sale so if you want large scrolls, large scroll bars or if you want price control to restrict modification to managers. Okay, so after that you can save this point of sale. And here we can see um, there are we have added two flows to our point of sale to our bar. That is one is main floor and then patio. So if you want to create or add more flows you can just type it from here and you can click on create or create an edit so you can see a uh, window where we can set the point of sale then here we can add tables tables for your floor okay you can name add name for your table then set the number of seats for that table so i'm adding six then you can create new table okay t2 then here i can add set the seats so you can save and close or save and create new tables and here we can see the shape of the table okay so now we can save it so in this way multiple flows and you can also add tables to those flows and so for this point of sale i have added three flows and we can also click on this flows to view all the flows that is configure all the flows so if you want to make any modification to the uh, to existing flows you can just click on it and make modification Okay. Now let's come back and start a new session. Okay, now we can see the different floors available uh, the, in our bar, main floor, patio, and then floor 2. Okay, so for patio and main floor, we can see there are different tables. And here we can see the color of table, shape then number of seats number of guests occupy so here we can find an option to edit this floor you can edit the background color of the floor then manage tables okay so just click on the floor and here we can find an option to change the color of the floor so if you want a different color you can just click on the color okay so the color is changed then if you want to add tables to the floor you can just click on this add and here we can see the table and if you want to resize the table, you can just drag from here and resize the table. And you can make a copy of a table. Okay, so you can see copy is created. Then we can also change the text the table name. So if you want to create a special table, you can name that table and click OK. And again, if you want to change the color of the table, you can just click on it and choose a color from here. Then here we can also change the number of seats. So by default, seat is set as 1. 
and from here if you want to change the seal you can just select that and click ok so three seats are set for this special table change six then from here we can also change shape of the table so if you want a circle shape you can choose from here then it's also possible to delete a table so if i don't want this even i can just click on this delete okay so removing a table cannot be undone so that table is deleted now uh, from here we can again click on this edit so everything will be saved so in the same way, here we have our flow too, and you can click edit and add tables. Okay, so six tables. Okay, now we have five tables. Okay, so when everything is done, you can just click on the table. So we have, uh, you can see uh, in main floor, we have T4 table. And now we can make orders to this table. So we can choose food from here. And then you can choose a customer. You can set a customer and then make the payment. So here we can see the total amount. You can select the payment method and we can validate it okay then again we can make orders okay now when you choose a table here we can see some other options below that is we can add notes to the table so if you want to add suggestions or if you're allergic to certain ingredients you can mention here mm, so if i want extra cheese you can just click OK so that note will be added to that with the product. Then here we can see the number of guests for that table. So I am setting number of guests as 2. So we have 3 seats. Uh, so let me check that. So I am setting 2 guests for this table T3 and click OK. So when you go to the main floor, you can see for T3, we have set 4 seats. And you can see the table is half filled because number of guests is 2 and we can see one order is placed on the table and if again I change the guest to uh, okay let me change to 3 and now if you go back to floor you can see it is filled up to this because out of 4 there are 3 guests Then it is also possible to split the bill. So when you click on split, okay, let me add more items. Okay, now I can click on split and here I can click on the number of quantities I want. So back on mother I have choose two quantities out of five. Then this one, two, one and this one. Okay, so I am going to split this bill. So for this selected quantities I can make the payment okay now when you come back you can see one order is remaining so we have the remaining uh, quantities of the products now again if you want to split this you can just click on split or we can make payment for this so this is how we can split the bill okay again let me add some products then here we can find an option to transfer this order so just click on transfer so that you can transfer this order from t3 to a different table so if you, if 
a customer want to transfer this order from T3 to T6, just click on T6. Okay, now you can see the order is placed on T6 and then we can make the payment. So when you go back to floor, you can see it is moved to this table. Okay, so we can validate it. Then again you can see some other option like we can create bill directly or we can place order to kitchen. Okay. Then if uh, you can also view the total orders on a table. So just click on this orders. So here we can see the total orders placed on main floor. And you can also create a new order by clicking on new order. Okay, so now we can see there are two orders ongoing with ongoing status. Okay, so this is how we manage flows and tables in Odo 14 community in Point FC. And if you have any doubts regarding this topic or other videos related to Point of Sale, please add your comments below and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get latest updates if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business drop your request to order at cyprocess.com